Shout your voice like thunder. Say yeah. I'm gonna vote. Less than two weeks ahead of midterm elections, dozens of people packed Greater Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church hearing Reverend William Barber's call for lawmakers to be more accepting of all voters. He says the country's battle for voting rights now is similar to the one during the civil rights movement. In the 60s, we were trying to get on in the ballot, get the right to go. Now they're trying to put up new forms of Jim Crow. We call it James Crow Esquire, voter ID, denying same day registration, denying early voting. And with that, I I want to get my right back to vote. One felon who lost his right to vote talked about how voter suppression has affected him. Another speaker who was once homeless says it goes beyond the issue of race. When you separate the races, when you separate the black versus white, especially the poor black versus white, it's easy for the people with the money, it's easy for the people with the authority, with the power to suppress voting. Don't you Together, they hope that people with the right to vote support those who don't. If somebody's against voting rights and you're for voting rights, then vote for the person that's for voting rights.